Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I want to talk about... I want to talk about the new castle skin, well the new event, when the winter shop uh, and what is called the event for this whole thing, it's called the winter festival. So it's a 10 day event, uh, so we're going to talk about it on a um, free to play perspective, so obviously I'm not going to talk about you guys purchasing anything. Uh, although this is it, all these advices, the, these tips, they're good for pay-to-play players too. So um, basically, really, what we're looking at, what what everyone really wants out of this event for free-to-play players is the castle skin. So when you go to the winter shop, there's the stellar tree uh, castle skin that costs a uh, thousand five hundred uh, snowflakes, magic snowflakes that you can get from daily login event. Uh, where you get 15 a day. I don't know if it's 15 a day for 10 days or if there are days where it's more or less, but we'll assume it's 15 a day. So basically, to log in for 10 days, you got 150. That's guaranteed. You can get some, um, well, you don't get from solo L events, you get uh, winter chests. I, I, I think they're called winter chests. Uh, and also winter gift aways, which is the most unreliable ways to get that. And I'll go over over that uh, that thing uh, later on. So uh, basically, the goal is to get a thousand and fifty. Don't don't ever waste your special coins whenever there's an event like that with limited skin. This is like throwing away your your effort. So I will not talk about that. Don't don't do that. Uh, if you want the emotes, it's either that you overspend or you uh, you did not spend enough and you have to use them. Otherwise, I would suggest to skip the emotes. I know it's nice to put the emotes on the chat, but uh, they don't they don't give you anything. So if you're looking for stats, emotes are not the way to go. Uh, if you uh, the avatar, it's expensive. Uh, if you cannot get the the castles. Castle 3, the avatar is good for the bonus points. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you look at mine, uh, you go to the event, you see I missed a lot because I went for the castle skin. Um, but I do have 20 points. And with two more, I would get 2% more infantry max HP, which is nice. Uh, but as you can see, I missed a bunch of them. I, I got the very easy ones. One from, um, uh, what's it called? Adventure Lug, stuff like that. Oh yeah, you can see I, I did the uh, Guild Gala last year, Adventure Lug, Adventure Lug, and the Winter Festival of last year. So yeah, so that's how you get some of those. Uh, I will pro most likely not be able to get both the Castle Skin and the Avatar this time around, but we'll see. Arcade Tomes, they're good uh, because you have to look at it as one Arcade Tome is eight, 800 gems. If you're free to play and you're, you intend on maxing out free to play research and then trying to go from better research that costs Arcade Tome. So that's the way I see it. Uh, you, could, uh, you could buy, it's one, 180 to buy out the whole thing. And then... Uh, <laughs> Research, training, merging speed up, and the really, really bad uh, three-minute normal speed up. So I would, I would say, this is the last thing you want to buy. <laughs> if you really, uh, if you're left on the last day of the event and you you still have some magic snow snowflakes, go ahead, use them on those. But that's not what you should be prior prioritizing. Okay, so and I, and I'm, not, I'm not gonna talk about buying uh, Magic Snowflake straight, uh, straight up because, yeah, it's from a free-to-play perspective. So, basically, okay, we go back, let's go back here. Uh, it costs 1,500. So you get, you get 150 just by logging in for 10 days. So that's 10% that's of it done. You also, uh, there's gonna be Lord's Cup. So I don't know if it's going to be 10 Magic Snowflake per phase or level of phase, or if it's going to be 15. So let's say it's, let's say, let's say it's 10. So that's, that's another 30. So you add basically 180. Uh, you're, you're going to need a 
1320 to get the castle skin uh, and you're gonna get those from uh, the winter chest where do we get the winter chest uh, I don't know why it doesn't say like this but I, I think it says in the event that it's the way to get winter chest let's go to special events uh, the snowman don't really care about that but yeah it's it's easy to get the snowman to level three so you're gonna get yeah snowflakes from the daily login lord's cup winter chest and winter gift aways and then you're gonna get winter chest from solo event l event and hunting monsters and a max 15 per day so uh, on average these these chests will drop a little under three snowflakes per chest if it's the same ratio as all the other events um which right now i have seven i did a um i did a full solo and l event combination which so you get you, you can get if you do a combination you can get up to seven so you get one for phase two l event another four for uh let's go see um just want to make sure i say the right thing yeah you get one for phase two and you get four for phase uh three of an l event uh this is not a great one this is building building is very uh, yeah, it, it'll cost you a lot of resources or a lot of speed up depending on what kind of building you do usually when people do that uh i mean it's a watcher i have my, my watcher maxed so i don't want to do a huge one but if you were to do a building one you uh the best way to do to go about it is to uh, rearrange your infirmaries and your manners so if you are full infirmary and you want to go with the full manner that's a great way to do it i know some people what they do is that especially if they don't want to they're they're uh they're they're going to shield for a long time is that they they get their building to level 24 and then when there's an event like that they just up upgrade a couple ones from 24 to 25 uh which this one cost 590 so i think you would need like either five or six building from 24 to 25 and and i really mean manners and infirmary because uh the barracks they give like 70,000 points i think and then these resources are really not that great too for uh for points in um uh might so i would not suggest doing that but yeah uh and then as far as solo event you can get up to two if you do a phase three so my suggestion is when it's always do a combination so for this solo event there's merch pack and building so merch pack it's a it's an easy one to get so basically i'm crossing my finger that there's going to be uh emerging l event in the next two hours after this one i will not do a i will not do a building one I will try to prioritize today uh, troop training because there is still uh, the train your army special event. And if you've seen one of my videos of the past couple days, I, I said that it was a good idea to uh, synergize both these events together. So there's one day where they overlap and that's today. Uh, so my suggestion is if you want to train your army and you're not done yet, so right now I've only done one did before. So yeah, I, I did one L event and I got basically a million five hundred points. Uh, I will I will complete this thing today, uh, and I'm gonna synergize that win, with the winter festival. So I'm gonna try to get as many winter chests as I can for uh, to complete both this. Uh, and really, what I'm looking at here is. I'm using speed up to train my troops and I'm gonna get some speed up from training my troops and I'm gonna use those speed up to get the winter festival uh, the archaic coins are really nice but everything the rest is just speed up so basically it's as if you add like a <laughs> uh, a subsidy on your speed up by doing this okay so yeah good way to synergize this with um, with your uh, winter festival uh so like i said the one of the best way to go about it is to do uh is to do a combination of solo and l events so whenever there's a solo event and a l event that has the same uh same 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 source so in that case i'm looking at merge pack i will combine both of them and finish both of them the thing is uh like i said you need a thousand three hundred and twenty 
um, uh, magic snowflakes. Let's say that you're lucky and you get about three, uh, three per chest. So that means you need to get about 430 chests. Um, okay, so 430 chests, and you can get a max of 15 a day from uh, monster hunting. So you can get 150 from monster hunting. So that means you need to get 280 uh, winter chests from um, from solo and L event. So if you do uh, if you do just one combination, uh, which will get you seven. So that means that means you need to do 40 combinations. Uh, keep in mind, there's 10 days to the event and there's, you can do up to eight combination a day because there's eight solo event a day and there's 24 L event. So a combination obviously would be uh, a solo and an L, con L event. So uh, you can do up to eight a day uh, and you, you would need to do 40 over the event. So the event lasts 10 days. Uh, there's 80 possibilities. Obviously you're going to sleep. <laughs> you're not going to be able to do all that. So uh you if you only do a combination of solo and l event it might not be enough uh it might not be enough to get the 280 chests and it might be more it might be less guys and some people will say you need to open your chest two at a time seven at a time 69 at a time uh, really guys i really don't care about those theories um i i know that people that code are lazy they want to do things uh <laughs> They want to do things easy, easiest for them, so it's probably not coded that complicated. So it's the drop rate is the drop rate, guys. It's it doesn't matter how many you open at a time. So um, if you do forty of them, uh, you should, in theory, be good. Uh, and and I say when I say forty, I mean a combination of solo and L event. Obviously, there's going to be some elements that are worth doing. Uh, the smaller points, just go ahead, complete them. Another, uh, um, I know in the past, lots of people were doing like phase two of each element. It is not, I, I don't think it's worth it this time around because basically phase two, and you got to look at, okay, phase two costs you 100,000 and phase three costs you close to 600,000. So basically, you got to put six times the effort to get four chests. So yes, it's it's worth it to get to phase two uh, compared to phase three. But if you only do phase two, you're probably not going to have enough. Uh, like I said, you need um, you need 280 chests. You would need to get 280 phase two L events for that. Uh, there is 24 uh, phase two per uh, 24 L event a day. It lasts 10 days. There's 240. If you only do phase two, it's not gonna cut it. So that's not gonna be enough. Uh, solo event. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this is a combination of two two sources. Uh, and and then this uh, 31,000 is about a third of what you need to get for the L event phase two. Uh, and you get twice the chest. So this is just one example. Right now, it's right now it's a bad L event. Uh, it's it's one that costs a lot, uh, and it's a watcher. Watcher usually usually are expensive. Chaos Dragon obviously a little bit more. Uh, so you want to look for a smaller L event. My suggestion is just do all the solo event that you can. Uh, like I said, there's eight per day. There's 80 over the course of the whole event you're gonna have to sleep if you're able to do 40 or 50 complete 40 or 50 that's gonna give you uh, 80 to 100 chest out of the 280 that you need and then for the L events uh, you get five if you complete an L event so you would need to complete about 35 to 40 L event um, to uh, to get your 280 that you need, uh, 280 chests that you need uh, to get your magic snowflakes. Because yes, on average, guys, when you look at this, you can get 10, you can get one, two, and, and five. But on average, in my experience, it's it's usually between two and three. It's higher than 2.5. 
uh, if you get a three uh, on average. And guys, I know in the comments, some people will say, well, I got 10 and I got three. You got to look at it over uh, the whole thing. Uh, a lot of people will open 10, they'll get 35 and they'll say, well, the drop rate is 3.5. Well, that's not how it works. It's over. Uh, you got to look over the, the whole thing um over all the uh the the chest that you open i mean i have four accounts so i can do the math for you at the end of the day i will i will save all my chests for the last day and i'll show you how many i get um and i'm gonna have a thousand chests over all my accounts so that's one way we can look at it but on average i'm expecting around 2.8 2.7 Unless the drop rate is different this time around, but it's usually the same for those events. So that's uh, that's basically it. I said I would talk about giftaways. All right, let's look at winter gift and the winter gift away dash. Um, so first of all, <laughs> just look at the ranking, and I don't see anyone in the ranking that's from my kingdom. So this this event has been going on for nine hours now. There's no one in, in my kingdom that I've done any gift aways. Uh, and whenever there's a gift away, so I don't know if you've seen that thing, there's a little uh, little Christmas sock that appear here. You have about three seconds to click on it. And that's it. If you, um, if you, if you, if you don't click on it, you're not gonna get anything. I think I got one before the event started. Or, uh, yeah, I got one before it it was giving um, magic snowflakes, I think. Or maybe I'm thinking about the, the Taiwan server. Anyway, I only got some speed up at the time. Right now, if you get one, do we see anything in the... No, I don't see anything in the chat. And, yeah, I don't want to go over the guild chat because people in my guild are talking about Weird stuff sometimes. All right, I don't see anything in the last four or five hours. Yeah, there, there's not been any uh, gift aways. I would say, guys, it, it is, if you get some magic snowflake out of this, that's good for you, but it's not a reliable way. So, yeah, guys, uh, I would really suggest that you uh, finish the combination of Train Your Army today and uh, with the troops, so uh, focus on the elements that have troops. By the way, whenever you complete an element, you're gonna get some gems. <laughs> and if you were lacking gems, it's the last day of the bargain store. So it's, uh, and as you can see, I have not done my full uh, buying today yet. I've done the one thing that I, I really need on this account because it's really hard to get, but uh, you're gonna get some extra gems on, on that. Uh, first day of winter festival and last day of bargain store so go ahead um yeah those are my suggestion guys you need about uh 40 you need about 40 element guys 40 elements and 40 to 50 solo events uh, bo uh completed all the way uh this time around to get phase two it's i don't think it's a good plan uh, focus on combining your solo at L event. I know some of you are going to be on, on holidays and won't be able to participate uh, every day. Uh, get your, try to get your daily logins. This will give you, like I said, 15. The snowball is for the other event. And I wish that some of the rewards were uh, linked to the magic snowflake. That would have been nice, but it's not. So, yeah, that's that's basically it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you are going for uh, this castle skin. Uh, I got a couple of them on this account, as you can see, that I can upgrade. Uh, oh. Yeah, well, I will save this maybe for... Yeah, I will save this for <laughs> extravaganza because that's a hundred points that I can get from this. But that's going to give me another castle. Let me know in the comments below how it's going for you, what's your plan, um, are you going to be able to uh, log in daily to do this, to get your monster hunt done, uh, as far as monster hunting, someone asked me if it was a good idea to do level one, I know one of the things that people do is they put like, uh, they would do something like, um, 
because I, I don't suggest that you fully hunt level one. What I suggest that you could do is you go to a level one. Let's say I'm, I have my hunting gear and I want to have my hunting gear because I want to use as little as possible from the, I want these two pieces of equipment. But you would go like this and you would do like this. Uh, well, let's say I don't want to use my energy, but let's say you do a, a times 22 and then instead of doing all your heroes, you would select, well, I don't have a level one, but you would select, let's say, a gray level one that is not uh, for this. And uh, maybe you, you'd, you'd kill it or maybe you, will, you would not kill uh, the monster because you don't want your uh, guild gift to be full of really bad rewards. And um, But if you do that, uh, there's, a, there's a good chance you're going to get a, a bunch of chests. Uh, I really don't do that. I just do my monster hunt every day. Uh, and I, uh, if, if, if at the end of the day I have not done everything, then I kill an extra level three. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, let's say that I, let's say I've been real, very unlucky, and at the end of the day I'm still at zero out of fifteen, which it's it's rare. But let's say two, two or four out of fifteen. And so instead of killing a level three, I might kill a level four. Um, and uh, whenever there's uh, an Astra monster that I'm actively hunting, I will simply kill um, uh, one of the Astra monsters. And the one that I'm doing these days, well, I say these days, that's the only one I'm doing. Maybe in the future I'm going to do uh, some more, but I'm doing the Snow Beast. Um, yes. So right now I have the equivalent of four Astra lights saved up from the Snow Beast. So that is one way to get that. Uh, I believe that I believe that level one can give you up to one chest, level two up to two chests, level three up to three chests, and level four up to four chests in a single hit. Obviously, that that's not a guaranteed, but I think that's the way that it works. So um, that's my suggestion, guys. At least uh, do your uh, minimum. Uh, well, yeah, the, the maximum kills uh, for Monster Hunt to get your 15 chests. Uh, if you cannot get the, like I said, if you cannot get the castle, go for the avatar uh, and go for the archaic tomes and then do the emotes and speed up. Uh, but uh, the, the real, real challenge is to get the castle skin. All right, guys, I think that's about it. <laughs> that's been long enough. Uh, leave a comment, uh, like the video, subscribe if you like that kind of stuff. I always have uh, updates on new stuff whenever it comes on the Taiwan server ahead of time. This is a case where it was on the Taiwan server, but it was not the real thing that we really wanted to talk about. We wanted to talk about, about the, the bargain store. So that's why I focus a lot more on the bargain store this time. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching and see you later.